anyone who plays Beast Storm knows that there are the pros who make trillions of honey per day and then there's the noobs who make like 20 million honey per day. Basically in this video, I'll tell you guys how these pros make hundreds of trillions of honey per day. It's absolutely insane how much they can make. If I look at this board right now, the top player, in just like 16 hours, he has 91 trillion honey. And we've had people making over like 200 trillion honey per day. I think Elo made like 200 trillion honey a day a couple days ago. And basically, yeah, I'll explain how these pros manage to do that. If you guys enjoy this video or it helps you out at all, you know, drop a like, subscribe with the post notice on. It really does help support my channel. Yeah, let's get into the analysis of how these pros are making th these numbers. So these insane numbers are possible because one thing, the Blue Hive. Everyone knows that Blue has been buffed significantly since the 2021 through 2022 Beesmas event. Basically, everyone switched to blue. Like, Elo switched to blue, Every everyone on the board that you see right here, they switched to blue. And these people who are number one on the board uh, back then before Beesmas, like Rias, they are all the way at the bottom right now. And blue players like Elo are all the way at the top of the all-time board. So the reason blue is so OP is because of balloons. So balloons are a new uh, feature inside of Beast Swarm where basically you collect pollen and then pollen goes in the balloons and balloons fly to your hive and then you can convert all of those balloons. And that might not seem like much to some people, but balloons are very OP. Pros can get over a trillion pollen in their balloons, I'm pretty sure. So just to show you guys how these balloons work, if you don't know already, point bees have the chance to drop these tokens that give you balloons. And when you spawn these balloons, all the pollen that you collect under them, basically this dark area, it basically becomes stored in the balloon. So you can see like all this is filling up and some balloons have over 2 billion capacity in them. This one has like 2.6 billion. So basically the more capacity that you have right now, I have 5 billion capacity with no buffs. The more capacity that you have, the more uh, capacity your balloons have. So I'll grind in this field for a bit and I'll show you guys what happens when you go back to your hive and convert. And as you guys can see, uh, my balloons are filling up rather quickly. I'm getting like 700 million pollen per second. And when uh, they're full of pollen, they fly back to your hive. You can see a bunch of balloons just flying back to my hive. This one has like 800 million pollens. Others have like billions of pollen in them. That's the beauty of balloons. They make making hundreds of trillions per honey and tens of trillions of honey macroing possible. A good player can make up to 30 trillion honey per day macroing, I think. That's just what I think pros can make macroing. The rest is coming from boosting. Blue players can make up to 150 trillion honey per boost. It really depends on your RNG and how good like your lineups are. And lineups are another thing that I'll get to in a second. They're another important feature to blue. So basically, this star shower is what makes making these numbers possible. If you guys don't know what star shower is, it basically gives you a bunch of inspired tokens if you catch them. As you can see, I had time 7 pollen for a second. So if you get a good star shower and pop star lineup, you can make a bunch of honey. And the meta amulets right now are pop star and star shower, as star shower gives you permanent times 1.25 capacity, which is insane. And like I said before, the more capacity that you have, the more capacity your balloons have. So that's basically the importance of the capacity. And Star Shower, like I also just said, it gives you a bunch of pollen multipliers if you get a lineup. So you can make up to like 50 to 100 trillion honey per second if you're a good blue player and you get a good lineup with your pop star. Most I made was like 13, 15 billion per second, I, I think, but pros can make a lot more. Yeah, in a second, I'll go back to my hive and show you guys the balloon and how much I filled it up. And yeah, here's the star shower again. So it basically catch these green circles and gives you a bunch of multipliers right there. I got times for inspire, gives me times five pollen. And it's important that you guys stay under your balloons if you're trying to be blue. Just because if you're anywhere in the field and you don't have like the little gray shaded area below you, that means the balloons aren't getting pollen. And you can also see the best spot for balloons if you look in your top left corner. You see, the more balloon multiplier they have, the more balloons you're standing under. And uh, you get a bunch of different buffs if you stand under a good amount of balloons. Like honey from tokens and pollen. But yeah, so let me just go back to my hive and see how much my balloon grow. Shouldn't be that massive because, you know, I'm not really boosting. Hey, right here, it's only a 46 billion balloon. So another thing that makes these numbers possible is all the new stuff that has been added. First of all, you have the balloon blessing, which, as you can see, the multiplier. For only 58 times balloon blessing, you get times 2.74 capacity and times 8.27 honey at hive. And nectars are another important thing. So if you look at these nectars, blue players need the three main nectars to make good numbers. Motivating nectar, which gives you up to a times 
1.5 blue pollen times 1.5 convert rate times 1.05 honey per pollen and also 5 bee ability rate which is pretty insane satisfying nectar only gives you one important thing actually no it gives you two good things times 1.5 honey at hive and times 1.05 honey per pollen the honey at hive is the most important thing in my opinion because if you're converting this balloon and you convert it without the honey at hive buffs you only get the honey that's in the balloon but with the honey at hive buff it multiplies up to like five or six times so it's so insane how much honey you can get so for reference if you're converting a hundred billion balloon you can make up to like a trillion honey just from doing that actually not maybe not a trillion maybe like 500 billion something like that so if i convert this balloon look at my honey right now it's about 37.05 trillion honey and that's 61 billion pollen so after I'm done converting, I'll show you guys how much make. And the comforting nectar, I wanted to get to that too. It gives you times 1.5 blue pollen, times 2 convert rate, and times 2 colorless bee convert rate, times 1.05 honey per pollen, which is also insane. And as you can see, with like barely any buffs, I'm making over a billion honey per second converting. Another thing that makes these boosts insane is the refreshing nectar and then the invigorating if blue players use that. I'll get to that in a second. But like I just mentioned, the satisfying, motivating, and comforting, these are the three main nectars that pros use for macroing usually. You can usually stack them up to 24 hours for all three easily. You have good planters. Alright, so the balloon is coming to an end on the conversion. I think I've made about 300 billion honey from it. I think it's around 250 billion honey to 300 billion honey, something around that. So I got like times four honey uh, from the pollen that I converted from the balloon, which is absolutely insane. Considering it only took me like four minutes to farm all the pollen in the pine tree field. And like I promised, I was gonna show the refreshing nectar and show you guys all the buffs that it gives. So the way that pros keep all the nectars, like I mentioned, it's pretty easy to keep three nectars to 24 hours if you macro 24 hours a day. If you macro pine or some field, you get permanent motivating and, or comforting nectar to 24 hours. Because if you're standing around the planter and you plant planter in any of the fields, you basically get the permanent nectar because it just flies through your inventory. The satisfying, you can plant like a vital planter gives you in like some flower field or something like that. Basically, gives you times 1.5 satisfying nectar above, so it's pretty easy to keep. And this nectar pot, it's another thing that helps pros keep the fourth nectar. So for five tickets, you can store any nectars in your inventory. So yeah, right here, I don't have mine to max, only have it at like 16 hours. But it gives you up to 10% bar, it gives you times 1.5 red pollen. It gives you times 2 blue bee convert rate, and times 0.5 honey per pollen, which is, you know, also pretty nice. That's basically like times 1.25 permanent honey per pollen. It's pretty insane. So if you're trying to keep three nectars to 24 hours permanently, it's important that you have good planters. So for blue, I recommend having three different planters. The petal planter, the pesticide planter, and the tacky planter or blue clay. If you look at the petal planter in the petal shop, it is pretty expensive. And I did regret buying it for a bit, but you know, it doesn't really matter. It does cost like 50 sword wax, which is a pain in the eye. But basically, every planter has a pollen multiplier. So if you zoom in to all these planters, you can see that the candy planter, for example, gives you times 1.2 motivating nectar. The red clay gives you times 1.2 invigorating and satisfying. Blue clay gives you times 1.2 refreshing and comforting. The pesticide gives you times 1.25 motivating and satisfying, which is useful for basically any blue hive. If I go ahead and look on the petal planter, I'll just claim it. Basically, it says it grows in about 14 hours, but it's not required to finish going to get the nectar. Grand spoon is jelly beans, dice, glitter, and times 1.5 satisfying and comforting nectar. And if I get to the balloons, these balloons are actually so OP. So the black balloons, I'm not sure where you can really get them from except from the point pack. The point pack gives you five of each type of balloon. Maybe you can get uh, a couple more black balloons from the pea beer shop, but I'm not sure. But basically, the insane thing about the black balloon, it stores up to 25 times your capacity. So I used one in one of my boosts, and it basically stored about 250 billion pollen, and it flew back to the hive, which is insane. I think I had like a 700 billion balloon. Another thing that's important in blue is deflation. So basically, the more pollen you store in your balloons, the more they deflate. And once you get to above 500 billion pollen, it's recommended that you start converting your balloon at hive even during a boost, just because it's such a waste of pollen. And if you have a massive balloon that's going all over the lake, you're wasting like trillions of honey, maybe tens of trillions of honey if you're not converting it. 
Balloons can easily lose tens of billions of pollen every couple seconds if they get too massive. So it's important to keep track of your balloon size just in case it grows too big. Another great part about blue is it doesn't really cost so much resources to like macro and stuff. And you can easily make, like I said before, up to 30 trillion honey per day macroing. Only make up to like 15 trillion, but you know, I'm not that good of a blue hive. And I don't really macro with someone that night because, you know, the person I macroed with, he decided to dip on me, so... Yeah, so hopefully this video helped you guys out quite a bit. So if this video did actually help you out, you know, drop a like, subscribe with post notifications on. It really does help support my channel. So I might make like a blue hive guide or like another macro tutorial because a lot of people were getting confused with my last one. So if you guys do need a macro tutorial, no, tell me in the comments. I'll see what I can do to make a new one. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next amazing video that I decided to make. Also join the Discord, this first link in the description. But yeah, see ya.